what's this madness? Ever wondered which ribs you should get? Well, today we're going to compare the cheap budget ribs to the expensive ribs. I got so many questions of you guys asking me, hey man, where do you get your meat or what should I be looking out for? And let me tell you, I'm sourcing a lot of meat and I'm taking it for all kinds of places, just looking for the best that I can get. Because if you start with a good piece of meat, you always end up with a good result. And it's good to think about these things. It's good to think about the meat that you're buying. What are you looking for? For instance, this is a budget Iberico rib that I bought. And in itself, it looks good. But when you look a little closer, you see we got a lot of shiners here. And shiners are the bones that are showing, which means they cut most of the meat from the rib and took it away. So basically, this is scrap meat. That's why ribs are so popular. Because it's scrap meat used to make something delicious and that's why people love it so much. It's accessible. But the downside is, well, you, you get a lot of bone for your money. On the other hand, if you're willing to pay top money, you get this. This is the Iberico Rasa, the real deal, the most expensive pork you can find. And it has a lot of meat on top. So you're getting real value for your money, except you're gonna be paying a lot and your ribs are gonna be expensive. What would you rather have, Martin? Expensive ribs or cheap ribs? It's difficult. I think everybody got some tricks. And it's, it's really difficult, let me tell you. The, making the decision on which ribs to get, it's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Like a guy having to decide which ribs to buy is like a woman deciding which shoes to buy. That's a good comparison, right? I think it's more dramatic. It's maybe deciding which dress you want for your marriage. Oh, it's really bad. I'm gonna cook these ribs and I'm gonna try my very best to make these cheap ribs into delicious ribs, like freaking amazing. Like you want them in a restaurant. And then we're gonna compare them to the more expensive ribs. And can you then even tell the difference? And would it be worth paying more for? Let's fire up, oh no, no, it's not time to fire up the barbecue. You gotta get the ribs done first. Let's prep the ribs. Of course, the first step is taking off the membranes from the back of the rib. Then I'm gonna make my own barbecue rub consisting of one part table salt, one part paprika powder, one part onion powder, half a part turmeric powder, half a part ground black pepper, and a quarter part of garlic powder. Mix that up, sprinkle it on both sides of the ribs until we have a nice coverage. And now all that's left to do is fire up our Bernard smoker. I set the burnout up to smoke at a temperature of around 140 degrees Celsius. And I'm putting these beautiful ribs in. Look at them, absolutely gorgeous. And at this point, I'm wondering, can you even tell the difference? Which one is the cheap one and which one is the expensive one? Time to close the lid, let them cook, and we'll check back on them to see if they pick up a smoke color. And while we wait for our ribs to be done, we're making a barbecue sauce. And as a base, we're going to take a cup of ketchup quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of ketchup manis, otherwise known as sweet soy sauce, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, a teaspoon of Tabasco, two tablespoons of our homemade barbecue rub, and a quarter cup of raw cane sugar. Mix it up and let it slowly come to a syrupy bubble. ribs look absolutely amazing. Look at the color. They picked up a beautiful smoke color. The ribs are popping. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful high quality ribs. Bones sticking out. Our budget version. No bones sticking out, but still looking good. Let's brush on a little bit of our homemade barbecue sauce. And I have my sauce warm and that's important when you're brushing it on. If you brush it on cold, it's going to take down the temperature in the ribs and it's going to take your ribs way longer to cook. And with a warm sauce, you don't need as much sauce to go onto your ribs to look as beautiful as they do now. 
And I will close the lid back up and let our ribs continue to cook. We know when they're done, when we take a thermometer and we can stick right through them. to the best looking ribs you can find on the planet. And that's what I dare to say, because man, look at them. They're like caramelized on the outside and you know it's gonna be popping with flavor. They're fall off the bone tender and that's how I like my backyard barbecue ribs because I don't like the competition ribs. Wait, do you get this thing in the, stuck in the teeth? Nah, no good. I want them nice and tender. And these things, oh man. I'm going crazy here. And I want to figure out which one is which and which one is better. Do you know which one is which, Morrison? I kind of forgot. See, it's so hard to see the difference right now because they're all sauced up and looking good. They're dressed for the ball. So here comes the judges. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what is what anymore. Exactly the same color, maybe the size. But uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, so my guess is the smaller one is the, the low budget one. But th that's about the only thing I can say about it because the rest, well, they're pretty much the same. Cheap ones first. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, good barbecue sauce. I really, really like a Bayerko rib. And obviously there's a good reason for that. No matter what skill level you're at, they're gonna turn out juicy. We didn't even wrap these up. Now let's try our high quality one. Oh, I got a double one. First thing that I noticed is that they're, they're just way bigger. So I think, um, I think I know what's going on here. Well, these are the high quality ones, but there's something going on here. There's less flavor on these. I paid extra for less flavor. But with the cheaper one, I kind of was like, there's not a lot of meat. I need more. Oh, good taste. I need more. If you want to completely stuff yourself with ribs, you might gonna be happier with the cheap ones. The high quality ribs, they like give you that instant notification like, oh, heavy ribs. It's like eating a Wagyu steak and you can't even finish it because there's so much fat. You just like two, three bites, you're, you're done. You know, I value you very, yeah. very much, right? You're gonna eat them all. Let me, let me say, no, no, no. I'm not that kind of guy. Okay. I always like to share. Yeah. And uh, I always give you half of what I have and what I do, and I really appreciate you. But this time, I just want to say I appreciate you a lot. So I'm going to give you the high quality, very expensive ribs. You can have them all. They're yours. I'm, I'm just going to settle with the scraps. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you have a kind heart. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to show you my appreciation, you know? How did Eric Gephardt say that? Bless your soul. Yeah, bless your soul. Ah, sorry, ah, I can't do it. No, no, no. Yeah, but then you eat these and you want to eat more. Oh, we'll give the rich one, the high quality ones to the chickens. And we'll just eat, the chickens won't know the difference. Look at them go. <laughs> and they're fighting over the ribs. Chickens like pork, uh, 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 but the dog doesn't like the chicken eating the meat. Don't eat the chicken now. Dude. She wants to eat the chicken now. We have free range roaming chickens and, hey, Eva, what's this madness? What's happening to the show? I don't know. Dogs having a mind of their own. Our meat is too expensive. Cheap meat's better than expensive meat. What's next? We'll just have to watch the next episode then. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, big no, thank you to the patrons and the YouTube something. members. We're skipping something. I know you Thank know. you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Big thank you to patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then. It's Michael. A keep on grip. You don't want, I don't want the pork ribs. Why not? Where's the wagyu? She wants wagyu steaks. That's it. Just defrost some wagyu steaks. We'll see if she eat that.